What we need to do, they're a private company, they have no warrant, they have no right of entry, and you don't need to speak to them. Hi, it's me again, and I thought today might be good fun to have a look at some of your TV license videos that you're putting out there on the internet. Because I'm not the only game in town, nor do I want to be the only game in town, but as a self-identified miserable old git, I don't really understand what's going on over on the ticker tocker. I don't get it. I, I just, I, 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 yeah. I've got no idea what, I think I'm too old for it. I've got no idea. I'm too old, too miserable to know what's going on over there. But there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of TV licensed content going on there. And if we're going to reach the kids, TikTok is where we're going to reach them, right? I mean, you look at my demographic on here, everyone's over the age of 45. And if we're going to get this movement bigger, yeah, we've got, we got to reach the younger people, move this forward. The more people making videos about it, the more people talking about it is more better, right? It makes the movement bigger. More and more people, everyone should be making videos about it. If you've made videos about it, leave me a link below and I'll... Um, I'll share them about. But anyway, let's crack on because first of all, I've got an honourable mention that I want to do. So just quickly have a have a little watch of this one. Let's talk about one of the most common scams in the UK, TV licensing. So who are TVL? TVL is a company owned by Capita who are contracted on behalf of the BBC, the British Brainwashing and Broadcasting. I'm going to stop her there because that one goes on for three minutes. It's a bit of a lengthy one for a TikTok, three minutes. Now, do you remember a fair few videos ago now I said more people need to do it on TikTok. If you want my help, if you want to talk to me, I've got your back. Whatever you want, I'll help you make videos on TikTok. Well, this tech Amelia heard that and she ran with it. And she's made loads of videos and she's getting good views as well. She's reaching a lot of people and not just videos where she's explaining stuff. She does videos where she answers the questions as well, like I do on here, so she's like the Chili John Carney of the Ticker Tocker, and um, and she shouts back to me as well, which is nice. So it's nice to see. So if you're over on there, give her a follow as well, because she's she's doing good work, but not in all her videos, as we'll see in a minute. Right, I've got quite a few to go through. So where shall we start? Let's start here. Let's go. Question: How should I deal with a visit from a TV licensing officer? Here's ten do's and don'ts. One. If you have a front gate, consider putting a lock on it to withdraw that implied right in common law for a TV licensing officer or anyone for that matter to walk up to your front door. A word of caution, if you do put on a lock on the gate, there is a risk the licensing authority may prioritise your property. To Let's stop that one there, because first of all, he's called TikTok Street Lawyer. He looks like a little version of the Black Belt Barrister, doesn't he, but with more hair obviously. Point number two, if you're filming a TikTok, even I know you hold your phone that way, not that way. That's just rule number one of TikTok, it's, it's vertical. <laughs> so it's just messed that up. But can you, I'm, I'm, I'm filling a bit here, can you see the thing? I left it on the screen so you can see the point. Can you see it? At the bottom, look, the licensing authority may prioritise your property to use detection equipment. This is a lawyer saying if you put a lock on your gate, the licensing authority might prioritise your property to use detection equipment. This is meant to be, if he's a real lawyer, a real solicitor, he's an educated man. Right? How many years of school do you need to become one of them? More than I did in school, that's for sure. And yet he thinks putting a lock on your front gate will cause TV licensing to prioritise your property to use non-existent detection equipment. This is why we need better. I, I, I'm, I want more and more people making TV license video. I want more content out there, more people talking about it. But there's no point doing it if you're going to have crap in there, right? If it's not going to make any sense. This is a six minute video that goes on a lot, a lot like that. Detection equipment. Just so you know, in case you're new to all this, it doesn't exist. Never has existed in. All the prosecutions for TV license offences and the history of the TV license fee, not one prosecution has come about with evidence gained from detection equipment. It doesn't exist. They had the vans. They did have vans, but it was fake propaganda. They couldn't detect a thing, and they certainly can't detect anything today. Think how many places telly comes from on the internet, <laughs> different streaming services, Sky, Virgin. They can't detect you should know better, TikTok Street Lawyer. 
That's rubbish. Rubbish. Come on, let's find a better one. What's this one? If you're a uni student living away from home, we've got the ultimate TV license hack for you. If your parents have already paid for a TV license and you've moved into student accommodation, you don't need to pay for a TV license if you don't have your device plugged into the mains. This applies to any device, just as long as it's not plugged into an aerial and it's not plugged into the mains, you can watch it without paying, just as long as your parents are paying for a license at their home. You can check the site for the full T's and C's, but as long as you follow these rules, you can use your parents' TV license and not have to pay for your own. All right, fair dues, that one. I've said many times, like, I've pulled up a few articles, haven't I, where I've been laying into them a bit for not mentioning this. The most recent one was Think Student, I think it was. I haven't mentioned anything like this. You don't hear about it a lot, and it is a loophole if you're a student living away from your main residence. So it was nice. Good, good. Actual proper information. Formatted in a way to reach the kind of people it's targeted at. It's what it's about. Quality. Next. Yes, people, this is how you get TV license for free. Go to Google, um, type in TV license, go to the website, scroll down a bit, um, tap on declare you don't need Did you hear what he said there? I've just paused it. Did you hear what he said there? This is how... It's hard to hear what he said there because of the ridiculous background music, obviously. He said, this is how you get a TV license for free. He's looking to stitch people up. Like, I'll start it again from the beginning. Yes, people, this is how you get TV license for free. Go to Google, um, type in TV license, go to the website, scroll down a bit, um, tap on declare you don't need a TV license. Um, just follow the steps, really. Um, if you're a home student or business, just tap on the right tab and fill it out with the correct details. And you get an, um, confirmation that you don't need it. Cheers. So all he's doing is showing people how to fill out the no license needed declaration form, which is a thing you can do. I've done it in the past. But at no point in any of that video did he say, if you do this, do not watch anything that's been broadcast or use iPlayer. All he said was, this is how you get a TV license for free. And I'm still sure, I still can't back this up right, but I am sure that if you fill out the no license needed declaration, you're almost guaranteeing yourself a visit because you've made contact with them. They know that you're in the address. They know you're willing to talk to them. And they reckon one in eight people declare it falsely. Well, there's more than one in eight people declaring it falsely there, isn't there? He's going to get a lot of people in trouble with that. Yeah, it's not a TV license for free. It's You're declaring you don't require one. You've still got to stick to the rules. Or you, yeah, we never said if they turn up, don't talk to them or anything like that. Yes, bad. It's bad. This, this is why we need better people. This is, you know, Tech Amelia, we'll see in a minute. At least she's giving proper factual information out there. We need more people doing that. All right, what's next? Oh, no. Question, why do licensing officers visit the homes of persons who have already advised TV licensing that they do not use television receiving equipment? The answer, according to the TV licensing website, TV licensing visit a sample of homes to confirm there is in fact no... I'll stop it there. So it's, it's our friend with his phone the wrong way. Little black belt barrister, TikTok street lawyer. <laughs> and I think, I've been through a lot of his videos, and I think basically what he does is he reads the TV licensing website out, and he gets a lot of views for it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But he has just he is confirming what we were just talking about a second ago. Weirdly, I didn't plan that. Um, yeah, don't like TikTok Street Lawyer very much. Next. Detector vans with highly efficient equipment are out in force seeking TV bandits in an intensive campaign to cut back drastically the number of Welshers. Mr. Stonehouse says his aim is a fair deal for everyone. Honest folk shouldn't subsidise the others. So if you switch on, be prepared to pay up. What a nice van. I wouldn't mind that van. Turn that into a camper. That'd be banging out of that van, wouldn't it? And did you see the area on the top? So, yeah, I'm, we've mentioned it a lot, right? I'm, I never said once that the TV license detector vans didn't exist. What I always said was, they're a myth. They don't work. They did exist. There were vans with TV licensing written on them that drove around to put out the, you know, the propaganda that we can detect what you're watching. And I've been corrected a few times, people have tried to educate me that back in the day when CRT tellies were a big thing, you could possibly detect them. I still don't see it myself, 
Well, imagine a block of flats, right? Block of 50 flats and one person in there isn't licensed. How can you pinpoint that one person's flat with your detection equipment? <laughs> it's not possible. It wouldn't be possible today, would it? And um, yeah, as I said, think how many ways people receive or could receive live television. Virgin, Sky, there must be another cable service, I wouldn't know. Now TV, all the streaming apps, you know, Amazon Prime has live sport on it. How could they possibly detect that you're watching that? It is not possible. And as I said a minute ago, in the history of TV licensing, not one prosecution has ever come about with evidence gained from a detector van. They did have the vans, they did put fake equipment in them, and they did drive them about to scare people into paying for something they shouldn't have to pay for. Cool van, though. That's just the nonsense equipment in the back. And don't that bloke look a bit like a young Rolf? Uh, I might have to beep that name out. So every time I mention people of that of 70s entertaining value, I get no views on these videos. Next. Here's the thing, you really don't. So the oh, it's our friend, Tech Amelia again, half sitting up, half laying down with her car key on her lap for some reason. This is this is TikTok. Let's give her a fair shot at this. Why do you need to pay for a TV license in the UK? It was a comment. Company, they have no warrant, they have no right of entry, and you don't need to speak to them. They send them for that for your door, and it might say that you can fill out. Can't understand a word she's saying. One, because I quite like the song. Although, if you can't hear the song once you're watching this later tonight, it's because I had a copyright warning on it, and I've had to remove the song. Why? Why do you need Tech Amelia? You're better than this. You don't need the loud music in the background. It's too distracting. It's too distracting. I didn't hear a thing you said because of the music. It drove me mad. Have I got any more? Let's have a look. A few months ago, I stopped paying my TV license, and I've had a few threatening letters and emails. But today, it's escalated. Now I'm going to show you the emails, but I just want to briefly explain the reason why I cancelled my license. So I mainly watch Netflix and Amazon Prime, so you don't need a license to watch those things. And the main thing that did it was a few months ago, I wanted to watch Jonathan Creek, which used to be on the BBC. And the only way I could watch Jonathan Creek was to subscribe to BritBox. And BritBox is all the things that have been on BBC and ITV. So I've already paid for those things with my TV license that I've paid for years. And the BBC was like making me pay again. I just thought, oh, the BBC, they're a joke. I'll cancel my license. Anyway, this is the email. We've authorised the visit. They're coming. You are now breaking the law. Visit authorised. I don't understand the reason for her to make that video. We all like a bit of a rant, but who are you helping with that? You Now you've put out into the world that you're terrified that TV licensed goons are going to turn up at your door because a visit has been authorised. So what if other people are seeing this? Because you've got quite a fair reach and some of these TikTok videos get loads of views. Not help. You could use your platform to help people. Do a bit of research in it. I've covered that letter four or five times. I think the information's easily out there. Not just from me, from other people as well, obviously. I'm not the only game in town. But, um, yeah, F do the research. Find out that that is complete nonsense, that it doesn't matter if a visit is authorised. The odds of them coming are quite slim. Even on the ones they say, will you be in on this partic particular day? They still never turn up. Use your platform to reassure other people who may be watching your video because they're in the same situation. Maybe you influence them to cancel their TV licenses too, and now you're scaring them with the letters, which doesn't, they're, they're nonsense letters, not even a letter, it's an email, just delete the bloody thing. I don't know, maybe I should do more, more on the old TikTok. Because I, it is, the more people making videos is more better, it means more people in the conversation. But only if the videos are helpful. If they're not helping anybody, like TikTok street lawyer, or that woman, is it, what's the point? Just doing it for views, isn't it? I don't do it for the views, I do it to try and help people. And the views are nice, don't get me wrong. So if you're watching this, have you made any TV license videos either here on YouTube or on Facebook or over on the TikToker? Let me know. I'm not sure you can post links below. I think I turned that off because of all the spammers and the scammers on YouTube, which they need to sort out. YouTube needs to sort that out. It's getting worse, isn't it? But you can, if you get into the description, you'll find out how to contact me. If you've done it on YouTube, send me the link, tell me about it. 
and um, I'll share it. I might review it in one of these and I'll share it on a community tab, try and get you a few more subscribers, get some more people watching your stuff. It's a good thing to do. More people is more better. And whoever's putting out TV license videos on YouTube, as long as they're trying to help people, yeah, I'm, no problem at all. I've got your back. Whatever you need, I'll share your videos, I'll get you some subs, whatever you need, whatever I can help with, I'm there for you. And the same for people making these stuff on other channels. If I can help, I will. But if you're doing it on TikTok, that tech Amelia will be bigger than me in a couple of months. Well, I'm not even on 70,000 subs. She'll, she'll fly past that on TikTok. I'll be asking her for help soon. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about these as well. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully, oh, I'm so close to 70,000. I'm like, what, 500 shy of it? Oh, hit the subscribe button. Ta-da. Is you can't watch channels live. So like Sky News is live on YouTube. You can't watch that without a license. But if I go live on YouTube, you can watch me. Music. What? what? It's TikTok. Yes, I know it's TikTok. I know I need to reach a younger audience. I'm not putting stupid background music over it. It's always distracting. Do it. What? Background music. I'll try it. All right, I'll try it. So yeah, just remember not to watch anything as it's being broadcast or use iPad. So if you go on ITV Hub or for, don't leave the live button. You can watch everything else on demand. Netflix, Disney Plus, all of that stuff. You can watch without a no. For more, see my YouTube channel. Hit my page on here and find my YouTube channel. All the info you need.